Hello and welcome back to Risk of Rain Returns. We're going to be jumping back in with the Huntress today. And uh, the Huntress is a very mobile character. Her main attack, um, it always attacks the nearest enemy, whether they're in front of you or behind you. So it means that you never have to slow down. So I can, I can attack while moving, which is kind of like she's the only person who can do that. And then she has a boomerang that bounces between enemies. I think it bounces between a few enemies. A blink as her movement. And then she has this big ass arrow that just kind of like goes through everything. None of her initial kit here has been changed for returns from the first game. Uh, but that's honestly for the best because they're adding new stuff to the game and they just added it as secondary skills. So it's options now instead of necessarily replacing things that they don't like. Um, we are going to probably grab a teleporter early here, but I'm very curious what the heck that is. Can I go down anywhere? No, I can't. Why is there a place in the ground here? I want to know. This level is just slightly different than what I would expect it to be. There's some imps here. Beautiful. Ooh, run and brain. It's not a terrible item. It basically just does that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, the arrow, whenever it hits enemies, uh, it drops a bunch of explosives around it. We'll just go ahead and grab the teleporter, and we'll get money via the teleporter. This little ring here is War Banner. Whenever we either activate a teleporter or level up, it'll put down a little circle, and inside the circle, we get move speed and attack speed. It's relatively good idea to keep inside of it, but it's not super necessary. It's pretty good attack speed at the beginning of the game, though. Fortunately, Huntress is one of the stronger characters whenever it comes to, like, just being strong by herself. Little item dependent in order to get stronger later on, but most of them are in this, in, uh, returns. Crosswell, it just does that. And then we just got a Rusty Jetpack, which gives us Jump Hike. If you've not seen that in this game before, in the top right difficult, uh, top right corner of the screen, you will see a uh, timer. Uh, as time... We're going to switch equipments here. Uh, this heals us. Um, as time passes, we will be... The game will just kind of naturally get harder. And our goal is to balance getting items and killing enemies in order to have items and spending enough time that the enemies do not outscale you. Because each time you see one of those little meters get filled up, um, basically the game will have gotten harder. So you kind of do want to rush, but if you don't want to rush so much that you don't get anything. What I like to do is because the teleporter can be kind of hard to find in this game, I like to find the teleporter as soon as possible, um, and then activate it and just kind of, seriously, we got the bouncing brain again. <laughs> and then kind of just use the money that you get from the teleporter to open as many chests as you found along the way. But uh, some people do like to get everything. And um, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. There's no wrong way to play. Um, there's no real wrong way to play this game. If anyone tells you that there's a wrong way to play this game, then, well, they're an enemy of fun. The only reason I will be telling you any amounts of advice is because, well, you know, this is kind of a hard game. And it, it's kind of one of those things where, like, my advice is, like, this is not necessarily best practices. This is just what I do to succeed. Um, and I'm not an expert at this game. If you hear someone else, some other bigger YouTuber who's more experienced of Risk of Rain say something, then I mean, hell, you know, come over here and tell me and give me advice. It's not like I'm some sort of god at this game or anything like that. But there's going to be plenty of people who, who join this channel who have not seen this game before. So I want to give you guys just a little bit, just a little bit. Once again, just looking for the teleporter, enjoying the beautiful, look at that in the background there, the beautiful parallax. Also, I just noticed the jump animation. She even has like little, she has like a little scarf or waist thingy that, uh, I don't know what to call that, like a half coat, half cloak that like move and falls a little bit as she's falling. Man, the, the pixel art is so good in this game. So good. I'm a huge fan of Pitsu Art myself. Um, we we're planning on having a Pitsu Art VTuber kind of avatar soon. Um, there's a possibility that I stream um, in this near future. 
If you have any opinions on that, please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, whether for or against, I'm fine with either opinion, to be honest. Opinions are, you know... Opinions are like butts. Everyone has one, right? But not everyone wants to see yours. <laughs> I think that's what the, the phrase is, right? Um, teleporter's right there, but we're only five minutes in. I feel like I have a moment. My rule of thumb of if I'm not doing super good as I try and do each level in under five minutes and we're only five minutes in so we're actually kind of a little bit ahead right now and if you're wondering why I'm still using the new zoomed in thing it's very simple uh the game is so pretty now that I don't want to zoom back out anymore I think it's also more readable for people who are watching the game than the other zoom level, which is the, like the more classic Risk of Rain 1 zoom level. Oh, this guy teleported. How, how rude him teleporting out of the way of my attack. He should just take damage. I'm gonna have to experiment. I don't remember if whenever you use one of your abilities. Okay, it does automatically throw your abilities at the nearest enemies too. But I don't have to turn around to use my abilities. It will do it automatically. It's kind of like the Huntress's thing, that she can always be on the move. Okay. I think now is a good time to go back up there and grab that teleporter. We're getting kind of far away. But yeah, look at this game. It's so pretty now. It's crazy how pretty this game is now. And there's lots to unlock now. Instead of just characters and items, there's also um, every single character that I've seen so far has alternate abilities. Um, Commando has three, Huntress had three, I think the, uh, the Bandit had four, um, not 100% sure on that, I don't remember exactly, um, but yeah, what we're probably going to do is at least, uh, once a day, every day, we're going to cover a class, um, and when we run out of classes to cover, probably based on unlocks, um, we will, uh, start, you know, doing just builds and runs and stuff like that until we get more of the classes. And uh, you guys are pretty much going to see 100% of my playtime. I don't plan on doing any offline grinding or anything like that because, you know what? That's just not interesting. Ooh, Minchin Mushroom. We can have hordes of mushrooms. That's a Risk of Ring 2 thing um, that I always liked is having hordes of hard enemies instead of, like, explicit bosses. Um, so what I just did is, uh, I didn't cover this in the first floor, is the goal of each floor is to essentially get to this elevator and, at, or elevator, sorry, lols, uh, teleporter and activate it. You'll have on each difficulty a different amount of time. On the medium difficulty that I'm on right now, you have 90 seconds. And during those 90 seconds, your major goal is to kill the boss. Um, if you're familiar with Rain 1, they got rid of the thing where you have to kill every single enemy on the entire screen. Uh, now you just have to kill the boss and then survive for the rest of the timer. Um, it does make it... A, I wouldn't say it's any easier. It's more of like a thing of like... There's a degree of a less annoyance to it because previously in Risk of Rain 1, you would have to like chase down enemies sometimes like across the map. Um, so I'm kind of honestly pref preferential to it. But if you want, you can also just turn it off. They have settings to turn off all of the new things. If you want to just play Risk of Rain 1 and not play any of the new stuff. But that guy just stays in the ground, huh? Okay, finally got out of the ground. We're going to stand in our bubbles over here. But yeah, after you activate the teleporter, um, enemies will, and once it finishes like this, enemies will stop spawning. If you have any money, it's a good time to check for chests. But I wouldn't wander too far because, again, the timer is still moving. For example, we are at nine minutes, and that bell sound you heard is, in fact, the difficulty going up. All of the enemies are now stronger. But I did remember that there was a try shop over here, and we're going to take Monster Tooth, which gives us uh, little healing bubbles whenever we kill enemies. We are going to go ahead and... Uh leave though because i don't remember there being any other items nearby this is a very big map and it's one of those maps where like i want to use the oh, i cannot climb ropes for the life of me right now i want to use the higher zoom level because of how freaking big okay that just felt like a secret <laughs> i want to use the higher zoom level because of how big the map is but man the game is so pretty is this a jumping puzzle i believe it is a jumping puzzle Ah, this is not a new secret. This is an old secret. I don't think I have the juice to do this. So you have to hit all these buttons. 
Um, and then you'd have to come down here afterwards. Um, and it looks like they might have changed it so the buttons have a certain amount of HP or something now, because I was hitting them and they weren't going in after the first hit, which makes that puzzle there a lot harder all of a sudden. Maybe that's an uh, aspect that was already in the game before that I'm just not remembering. One thing to keep in mind is that even though this game is new, it is very much like I would say 80% of the content here is still Risk of Rain 1, which is the game that I played many, 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 many hours of. Um, and although I am no expert at it, uh, I do know a lot of the secrets. So if you're here to see gameplay with absolutely no spoilers, uh, I I will be doing any secrets I know about as I come across them, and it won't be... There's there's not impressions there. The impressions is for all the new stuff. Go ahead and grab this. I literally just grabbed whatever I could as fast as possible, because that is a lot of oxen. And these guys are kind of dangerous. Because they're very hard to get out of the way of. We're actually just going to kind of get out of here, to be honest. This level is rope climbing in the level. If you guys have an opinion on the Yuzum level thing, you know, if you think that uh, it's best to go with what is the most tactically sound, no matter what it looks like, or if you think it's best to go with what's best for YouTube and the visibility of YouTube, um, you know, leave comments below. Let me know what your opinion is on that. I'd be happy to hear some opinions. I. I will say that even if I do ask for opinions, I might not change. Ancient Valley Log. Nice. We got a log for the area. Oh, we can climb on these little things? Oh, well, that's cool. I wouldn't have guessed that. We can climb on these little logs. Okay. I can't stop climbing. There we go. But yeah, um, even if I might not, like, actually change what I'm doing, um... You know, maybe maybe someone has something that I haven't thought of, you know, some sort of opinion on it that I haven't thought of. And, you know, I'm very happy to hear you guys' thoughts. You guys are uh, uh, part of the equation here, too, right? It's not just me doing this in a void. Where the hell is this teleporter? <laughs> like, no joke. I saw before that there was, like, little red project uh, particles around a teleporter, but it's not until you get close enough to it that you see the red particles. See, there's some right here, but, like, that's not even, like... Man, I have no damage. Um, that's not even, like, a useful distance. This guy again. Can we teleport past the wall? We cannot. This is what I was talking about with uh, Huntress, where really strong early game because of the ability to uh, see if we can get behind him. There we go. Because of the ability to move, uh, attack on the move and really good survival, but uh, is a little item dependent for the sick damage. Ow, took that one to the face. I like these new bird guys. Yeah, we have no money. Now that we got cross relic activated here, let's see if we can. Oh, that was really bad. Yep. Okay. We're gonna hit try again because I do want to dedicate each episode to a particular character. So we are going to be playing Huntress today what's this over here is this anything no okay is this anything can we like go in the log no we can't you'll be hearing me ask that question a lot they've added new secrets to the game and i am very much enjoying finding them we've already found a few mostly logs we also found, um, okay, this is a secret from before. I don't know if we can get there, though. Ironically, we also can't fire at it. There we go. Yeah, I figured if anyone could get here, it'd be Huntress.
Oh, come on. Let me do this, Huntress. Can we get it? Okay. I think we need to start up here. Yeah, they're not going in after one hit. That makes that really hard. We'll come back to that um, later. I don't want to just fail trying that over and over again. These little fishermen guys is pretty funny. A little Lemurian fishermen. Like, why is there just a skeleton of a dude that was fishing to the point where, like, like, like he died fishing, I guess. Gotcha. Topaz brooch. Kills Grant's temporary barrier. Um, we're two minutes in. Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can find... Ooh. Can I go into the log over there? Sort of looks like I could. Can I go under the log? No. Ooh, that's pretty. Literally puts like a little topaz around us. I hadn't seen that yet. It's also a new thing. Uh, the Marines can climb ladders now, so be careful. Don't try and hide from them on ladders. That does not give us damage. We need damage. That's technically damage. That's a attack drone or maybe a healing drone. I don't quite recognize them yet. Fire at the imp. There we go. Jeez. Freaking Huntress ADHD. Yeah. They can attack you on the ladders now, too. Uh, yeah, we'll hit this once. No luck. Okay, let's hit the teleporter and go. Teleporter will take a minute 30, so this is about perfect time. We'll get out of here right at about five minutes. All things go well. Magma Worm. Not the best boss to be fighting on Huntress. And also not the worst. Okay, maybe it is the best boss to play fighting. That did so much damage. Where's the item? Oh, there it is. Shackles again. Why? Shackles don't do anything for me. I'm going to use the teleporter timer here to go looking for some chests because we have some money. And we have 40 seconds to burn anyways, so might as well. I think this might be a new use, a good use of time here. Still trying to adjust to uh, the changes. Sprouting Nate helps. That's uh, whenever we're outside of combat. So basically, whenever we haven't attacked anything recently. Um. It will give us life regen. I'm gonna grab the drones over here. Marble Gate is just gonna be useful for like being fast. But Marble Gate is basically you activate it once and then you activate it a second time and you return to wherever you activated the first time. It's just, you know, teleporter gate. And just go ahead and pop out of here. Out of all the new map tile sets, at least of the ones I've seen. Oh man, Sky Meadows is just so pretty. I kind of want this chest right here. Oh, we can climb trees? Wow, you can climb like everything.
Come on, give me enough. Nope, not even close. Well, while we're waiting, let's explore up here. Oh, that's why you can climb trees. Because there's something up here. Hmm. Another topaz brooch. Not really what we wanted, but that's okay. I think we would need some jumps, some hops for that. There was a thing hidden behind the flower there. A, um, a crate. Looks like there's nothing else over there. I will say that if you're looking for recommendation on a good starting character to pick, Huntress is... You couldn't really go wrong with Huntress. Huntress might be one of the easier classes to play um, in the game because you don't have to worry about like directionality and stuff like that. And it's a little bit safer than a lot of the other starting classes. We're going to put this here. That's big. Ooh, Mountain Shrine. That'll spawn extra bosses, but also give us extra rewards. Just every boss in this game drops an item on, on kill. We'll hit both of these once. Kidding me. Kidding me. I'll hit one more. Uh, that's a red. I don't remember what that one does. Reduce the cooldown of equipment. Uh, we need better equipment then. I'm not seeing any more items. So we're just going to go ahead and activate that. So you get back right away. Link's totem, and this is the new boss. He basically summons a lot of adds, and the adds do most of the damage for him. This is actually like a perfect place for Huntress to be fighting. Big wide open area here. We can use this um, marble gate kind of defensively as well. We can put it down and have it as a oh shit retreat point. We'll go ahead and put it here. So if we don't need it as a retreat point, then we can at least uh, teleport back to it later. Bustling fungus is not exactly useful. I'm gonna go ahead and teleport back to it because that was getting a little hairy. Only 30 seconds. Wow. The little mitosis thing is pretty good. We're going to resurrect our healer because that's one of the only healing that we have right now. We gotta kill this boss. There's a requirement to leave the stage. But they're about to stop spawning, so it'll be a little bit easier in a second here. Oh, that's a... I think that's a new item? We're gonna change out. Pause time for seven seconds. Wow, that's actually gonna be super good with the items we have. Ukulele! There we go. Um, that basically gives us chain lightning on hit. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to stick with the pause time. That's really strong and is a new item. Or at least if it isn't a new item, I don't remember it being useful or good in the past. Sunken Tombs. If this is anything like the first game, there is a character right here. Hello, Acrid. We have to beat him now. Glad we found this. Means that I have another character to play. Right away after this. Wow, that is so freaking strong. Ridiculously strong, honestly. Acrid is another one of the characters that is kind of just like very good. And if you're struggling with the game, struggling to win, Acrid is a, is a good candidate there. Candidate there. 
Popo Feather. Beautiful. Let's double jump. I haven't figured out these guys yet. They're new. Little enemies. Ooh. That's, um... Providence. Beautiful little statue to, uh... Wow, they're dodgy as F, huh? huh. We need some movement speed. Pass a shrine four times in a row. Life savings. It also gave it to us. Oh, no, that was just what we got. Never mind. For a second, I was like... I, it, it seemed light for a second that they... Oh, I found the secret wall by accident. Don't worry. You are wearing a spacesuit. You can swim. Perhaps. What is this? Activate equipment? This is new. What did that do? Oh, it gave me drones. It like boosted my drones or something. Interesting. Um, we're at about 12 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this. It's like it's a horde of overloading playmen. Okay, that was a little insane. <laughs> Going onto the ladders literally killed me. We got Acrid and Snake Eyes. We will go again. Probably be the last go. Can we get this with Huntress? We can. One that I'm actually looking forward to quite a bit is uh, Artificer, who was original to um to risk remain 2 and got added into this game so looking forward to that as well not sure how to unlock them it tells me so i could go look it up at any moment to be honest equipment chest here i'm gonna make sure we grab this could be something good instant minefield happily take that i do kind of want these two chests so I might sit sit here for a moment the uh, med kit there is uh, head slumpers. It's unfortunate. There was a running gag in one of the YouTubers I watched way back in the day when Rista Rain 1 was kind of like new, who basically said that head stompers were so bad that if you took them, you might as well end your run. I don't think they're actually necessarily like that. It just was like a, a meme, I think. We should probably go find the teleporter now. There wasn't really enough enemy spawns to justify staying around for that uh, 50 cost chest there. So far, if you're looking for my opinion, I like the changes. Um, I like staying on zoomed in mode, uh, even though it'll probably infuriate some people. Um, just, ooh, I like the whip better than this. Um, just because, like, lets you appreciate the freaking art. It really does. It might not be optimal, but like, really does let you appreciate the art. Beautiful kill. This game really wants me to have support items. I'm going to open this chest and then we'll pop the teleporter. And more support. Well, we got a bunch of HP and stuff like that. Worst case scenario, we can use the head stumper. Ooh, he's so pretty now. Oh, man, I like him. I like him a lot. One of the least threatening bosses. Because he doesn't actually do damage to you whenever he's on top of you. He just sends out these little thingies. And as long as you're moving, they don't hit you. But in combination of other things, they can get the wandering veterans can kind of get a little scary. Kill the Magnum Worm, Wandering Vagrant, and Colossus. 
Uh, new equipment? Nemos... Nematocyst Nozzle. I don't think that's new. Oh, I know what that does. It summons a whole bunch of the little things that he summons. I just didn't recognize it because it's literally been years since I played Rush Rain 1, and I played it for, like, a few hours earlier this week in order to record my previous video on this, on, like, uh, Risk Before Returns. And, uh... Outside of that, I haven't played it since, I don't know, 2015, 2016, something like that. So, it's been a minute. We will use this as soon as it's off cooldown, though, just to show you. You know, in case something happens. Well, we're not going to just use it on one guy. We need more than one guy. Well, there's two guys. Basically does that, and they heat sink on nearby enemies. And the tile porter of zero enemies on the map. Gave me a legendary. Zero sum. That legendary changes your jump into a jet. It's pretty nice. Oh, wow. This thing has really short cooldown. 22 seconds of base. Wow. It's really good. We're up to the first difficulty here. I'll probably stick around for this chest because that larger chest has a higher chance of uh, giving me something better. I would like damage. Please and thank you. My little babies went off and killed someone somewhere. Actually, it looks like they killed a lot of someone somewhere. I like this item. Having the short cooldown is really helpful too. Well, now I know that guy was the only guy on the map because all of the cysts went after him. But it's okay. We can go ahead and take this. Energy cell. Attack faster at low HP. Saw a chest there. Oh, they reach. They change targets whenever something dies. That's super good. We're going to definitely take the... Yellow syringe here, soldier syringe, that is attack speed. Okay, there's not a new secret in there. There is something here, though. I want to get off. Can I get off? There we go. There's the log for the damp caverns. There's the teleporter, but we have plenty of time, so we're going to see if we can find any more items. Or secrets. Oh, come on. Getting kind of far away, but I think I'm just going to go to this bottom left corner here. And, uh... Oops. Call it quits once we get to the corner here. Wow, we can activate this so often. It's crazy. Do I see another secret? Perhaps. Perhaps not. An attack chest. Ah, why does it have to be an energy cell? <laughs> I'm actually going to take the mountain shrine here. Because I'm pretty confident we are okay. And then we're going to head back to the teleporter. We'll get two boss items. Maybe even more than two boss items. And we have the nemesis here. Or however you say it. To uh, support us. I think it was over here? Yeah. It's over here somewhere. Okay, we're close now. I see the thing. Yep. Three magma worms. Okay then. Screen shake. Ah. Yep. Sucks the suck. Yep. Well, 
We got Enforcer. And Photon Jetpack. This has been Mr. Rain Returns. I've been Arima. If you guys have been enjoying the episodes, there will be more to come. Um, feel free to leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Just helps us out. Let us know that you guys are enjoying the content and you are wanting to see more. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye.